Hello everyone, Nicholson here, and I've just come from the IMAX exclusive event for Doctor Strange. They showed about 15 minutes of footage from the film. Um, <laughs> wow, like I, okay, this movie, I didn't think it was going to be this mind-bending, this trippy. They showed a lot of footage. They showed the sequence that was described that they showed at San Diego Comic-Con um, when you see in the, the trailer, um, uh, the Ancient One puts her thumb up to Doctor Strange's head and he goes flipping back they showed that whole sequence and i mean my god like it's you see him climbing out of his own eye you see him land in in a uh world that is just it almost looks like purgatory it's just millions and millions of arms that are just grabbing him and then he looks down at his hand and little hands are coming out of his hand and then e or out of each fingertip and then out of each fingertip of that or other hands and he's freaking out and then it goes to this other world where there's all these trippy uh colors and and just it keeps going into all all these different places and then it snaps him back and then he does the whole teach me thing and like they it they didn't show i thought they were going to show maybe one or two scenes um maybe like six or seven minute scenes and then like a little bit of quick cut in between then finish off with the trailer but this was really a, a 15 minute trailer for the film that had extended moments in it um like they, they showed that whole sequence again like i said they showed his the car crash um, which is just insane. Like it, it's, it's so brutal and it's, um, they, it goes into a lot of detail about that. They show, oh man, I, I'm even trying to just still recuperate. Like they showed a, a, a good section of the ending where, uh, or not the ending, but the end fight where they're being chased and they're going through and they're opening up portals and just the way that they utilize the action and magic in this is absolutely incredible. You get to see Cassilius's weapon. Uh, or the way that he con he uh, controls his magic, and it's almost like it's an invisible sword that he conjures, and Doctor Strange with with his you know the green shield that he has, and but then they showed a bunch. Of, they did sh they did do that big montage sequence at the end, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I am almost certain. And any anybody out there who's also seen this, let me know if I was wrong. If I'm just seeing things, I'm pretty sure we saw Dormammu. Um, he wasn't a flaming head in the sense that he had orange fire, but it looked like a giant creature with like a purple bluish kind of flame and these weird eyes. It almost looked like, um, the creature from, um, Super 8. If you remember what that creature looked like before it opened its mouth, um, you know, just the way the eyes looked and then like, it almost looked like it had flaps that covered its face, but you could really only see like this part of the face, but it was like the size of a football field. So I don't know. It was in this other weird realm. They, they showed you a bunch of different universes. I, I'd say we at least saw two dozen different types of universes, maybe even 30 plus. Um, it, it was just absolutely extravagant and incredible what they're doing in this film um, and definitely see it in IMAX. The way they presented it in IMAX was incredible. Uh, the intro video by by uh, Benedict Cumberbatch was sick because it was in regular format, so it had the black bars along the top and bottom, but then um, he and then he he pretended to use his powers and and he he did this and then the black lines went up and so he and then he made a joke about it like it was just it was a really cool presentation the sequences that they showed were absolutely incredible you got to see banter between him and uh, Doctor Strange and Rachel McAdams um, which they have a really nice chemistry I thought um, you get to see a lot of sequences between him and Wong and their the how hard-nosed Wong is and how he's just he's a no-nonsense type of guy and it was just great seeing their interaction especially the quip where Dr. Strange goes oh well you know people used to think I was funny and Wong re retorts with did they work for you <laughs> and then Dr. Strange is like well I'll see you guys later uh it was it was just the the way they're interacting it's so true to the comics but in the same way it's updated and and modernized and so I thought it, it was just incredible there now I'll end with this. Okay, first off, I'll give my closing statements, and then I think they might have shown a spoiler in the in this footage. Um, but just overall, if you guys haven't got your tickets already, they are on sale. Get Make sure you see this in IMAX. They've converted over an hour of the movie into the IMAX format, so it will be the full screen. Um, it, it's just, it was breathtaking. It was incredible. The visuals, the graphics, everything in it was absolutely spectacular. Um, there, there, I didn't have any complaints except for what I'm about to say now. So if you guys don't want to know potentially any spoilers, spoilers or anything like that, um, you guys can shut this video off now. By the way, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook 
uh, at Nicholson, N-I-K-L-S-U-N, and look for new videos coming back, hopefully in the next week or two. Um, so with the spoiler, I am pretty sure that they showed Cassilius killing the Ancient One in the trailer. There is a hooded figure. Now, they haven't really revealed who the hooded figure is. I think it's the, the Ancient One. The hooded figure you see in the trailer, which is going like this, and, and you see all the buildings all warping and, and doing that kind of stuff. She's standing next to Doctor Strange, and uh, uh, Cassilius pulls out his invisible sword thing and stabs her in the stomach. Um, it was part of a montage, so they didn't really linger on it too long, but I did catch it. I don't know if that's considering or considered a spoiler, but I really hope not. I mean, we kind of guessed that the Ancient One wouldn't be making it out of this film, although I would have liked to have seen Tilda Swinton continue on. And again, this is all speculation. This is just a quick glimpse of something that I saw. So I'm not entirely sure exactly what it was, but outside of that, I, it, I, I didn't not like it. It fit within the context of what they were showing. I just thought that it was a bit of a spoiler and they might have not wanted to show that, but oh well. Uh, it's out there. But other than that, no, like the, the visuals, the mind bending, I still have that shot of it going into Benedict Cumberbatch's eye and then him climbing it. And oh, the ending, the very last bit that they showed was a sequence of him. It was almost like him falling, but he, the camera was him and he's going through his face and his mouth over and over again, like a kaleidoscope, like, ah, and, and it just, it went through like maybe 50 or 60 of them. Just It was, it was just like, that's what we're getting. That's the type of experience that we're getting. I cannot wait to see this movie. It opens up in just under a month. It opens up on November 4th. So make sure that you guys go out and check this movie out when it opens, because I doubt you guys are going to want to miss this. It looks absolutely incredible. This has been Nicholson. Thank you, and have a great day, guys.